Okay, let's make a start. So, uh, as introduced, uh, my name's Neil Fitzgerald. I'm head of uh, digital research here at the British Library. Um, work within the digital scholarship team. And uh, our mission is to enable use of British Library's digital collections for research, inspiration, creativity, and enjoyment. And we support digital scholars uh, through the promotion of the use of the British Library's digital collections and data and offers support for anyone wishing to use those in exciting and innovative ways. Uh, we work closely with scholars to understand their needs and enable access to contents and provide guidance and technical assistance to fulfil their digital and data mining needs. So some examples of that, as you see today, is uh, BL Labs, um, but we also work with higher education uh, partners on collaborative PhDs. We connect and share, um, and we do this through a global ecosystem of scholars, labs and institutions, and we've heard about that earlier today with the Building Glam Labs work. We're agents for change, and this is particularly important uh, for us as an organisation. We ensure the library system, services and policies will meet the needs of anyone wishing to undertake computational and data-driven research based on our digital collections and data. And we try and pilot new services uh, within the organisation. Um, so as we saw earlier, some examples. This is uh, data.bl and the uh, preparation work we're doing for improved uh, digital services in our reading rooms. We invest in our staff, we're building library's capacity to understand and support the emerging needs of digital scholars by investing in our staff skill development. We provide colleagues with the space and opportunity to delve and explore all of that digital content and new technologies have to offer in the research domain today. And we have a bespoke programme of workshops, hands-on training, lectures and reading groups where we raise the awareness uh, of the opportunities new digital methods bring to our users and professions. So um, I'll, I'll go into the training programme in a bit more detail shortly. And we innovate and collaborate, and again, I'll go through some examples uh, of that. Um, so the, the digital scholarship teams, this uh, cross-disciplinary a uh, mix of curators, researchers, librarians, and uh, research software engineers. And I'll now focus on the uh, digital research team um, within the department. So one of the ways uh, that we do this is by working in, uh, in the open as much as possible across a range of channels. Our digital scholarship blog uh, is one of our main uh, channels. And over last year, we've written about the following projects as we as work progressed on them. So this was mentioned uh, earlier on. Um, so earlier this year, the British Library, in collaboration with the Prima Research Lab and the Alan Turing Institute, launched a competition based on the recognition of historical Arabic scientific manuscripts. The competition was held in the context of the 15th International Conference on Document Analysis and Recognition, or ICTA, at the 29 conference. It was the second competition of this type following the first one, which took place in 2018. The library is an extensive collection of Arabic manuscripts comprising of almost 15,000 works. We've been digitising several hundred manuscripts as part of the British Library Qatar Foundation Partnership, making them available on the Qatar Digital Library. A natural next step would be for the creation of machine-readable content from scanned images for enhanced search and whole new avenues of research. So we've done this through running the competition. It helps us to identify software providers and tool developers, as well as introduce us to the specific challenges that pattern recognitions face when dealing with historic handwritten materials. For this year's competition, we provided a ground truth set of 120 images and associated XML files. 20 pages to be used to train text recognition systems to automatically identify Arabic script, and 100 pages to evaluate the training. 
Aside from providing larger training valuation sets for this year's competition, we've added an extra challenge, marginalia. Notes written in margins are often less consistent and less coherent than main blocks of text and can go in different directions. The competition set out three different challenges, page segmentation, text line detection, and optical character uh, recognition. Tackling marginalia was a bonus challenge. When evaluating the results, Prima compared established systems used in industry and academia, mainly Tesseract 4.0, Abbey Fine Reader Engine 12, and Google Cloud Vision API. The evaluation approach was the same as last year's in order to gain insights into the algorithms over time. And you can see uh, the links uh, and blog posts for more detail on how we went about that. Another important project uh, for us is Two Centuries of Indian Print. And uh, we started this at the end of 2015. An international partnership led by British Library received funding from the Newton Fund to digitise rare materials from South Asian printed books collection. Uh, the project to date has digitised more than a thousand early printed Bengali books, which are now available online and is currently digitised in a range of 22 South Asian languages to drive digital scholarship opportunities for non-Western materials. The project is exploring how digital research methods and tools can be applied to this digitised collection. This is especially important as many DH tools are optimised for working with Western language materials. For the first time, the project has made freely available in digital format the library's collection of bound quarterly lists. These are descriptive catalogue records of books published quarterly and by province of British India between 1867 and 1947. The quarterly lists are available to download as searchable PDFs as well as OCR XML via the British Library's datasets portal data.bl.uk. The map shows the location of the printers that were active in Kolkata and when clicking on one of the place markers shows some information from each printer about how many books were printed there, average number of copies printed and the average number of pages and price of a book across all the books they printed. It is used in all the data from the July to December 1867 uh, quarterly lists. We also wanted to explore the different methods of presenting and providing access to our data. Here the quarterly lists data is visualised with Tableau Public, one of the tools we experimented with during one of our Hack and Yak sessions. A casual, hands-on session arranged by a digital research team every third Tuesday of the month to work through an online tutorial at everyone's own pace, but with support of colleagues. We use it as an opportunity to explore new tools, techniques and applications relevant to digital research and to keep our own skills up to speed. These sessions supplement our larger digital scholarship training programme. You've already heard from Mia about the Living with Machines uh, project, uh, so I won't dwell on this. And just a bit more background about uh, the training program here at the library. It's run, been running since 2012. Um, it's an innovative digital skill training initiative that has provided time and space for colleagues to develop digital skills and new ways of thinking. We aim to have something for everyone, from introductory courses aimed at novices to more advanced opportunities. It's very important to us that learning is inclusive and accessible, but also challenging. In 2018-19 alone, the team held 40 different training events. Within that, 147 individuals, 60% who were women, attended 15 of our formal courses. A recent job ad, was, ad for a curatorial role at the British Library reflects a training changing nature and digital competency requirements for professionals working in the cultural heritage sector. The job profile asked for um, people who could contribute to and undertake work on digitization digital projects, assist in implementing new technologies to make the collections more accessible through online presence or through digital tools, 
have experience or familiarity with a variety of information technology skills underpinning digital research methods and practices, for example, georeferencing and text mining. And this is no less the case for professionals already working in post, who have often come to their role many years ago, having deep domain expertise in a particular subject, yet now find themselves with an increased responsibility for working on digital projects. So distilling the knowledge and experience uh, we've gained through running the internal uh, training programme, uh, we've partnered with Birkbeck uh, University and uh, National Archives on this PG CERT uh, uh, programme and um, this is currently in pilot uh, mode and uh, there's 20 staff, uh, 12 from the British Library and 8 uh, from the TNA who are just finishing their first module and they'll go on now to do module 3 which is a work-based digital project uh, where they'll be able to put into uh, practice uh, what they've learnt on the course so far. And if the pilot is deemed successful, then this course uh, will become available to the wider sector. So my colleague Nora McGregor has said, over the last seven years, the digital curator team have delivered a groundbreaking digital scholarship training programme for staff at the British Library. In this time, we've experienced firsthand the incredible transformations that arise when time space and opportunities created for colleagues eager to keep a pace of the technological innovations that underpin their work. This is an exciting opportunity to consolidate all that we've learned about the skills and knowledge they seek and encode it into a course uniquely designed to meet our needs in the cultural heritage sector. And internally, over time, the delivery of our internal training programme has evolved to reflect the changing needs of all staff working in operational and curatorial roles. Implemented over last year, the programme is now structured in a more flexible way to accommodate the differing needs of all staff. So we ran uh, three seasons, uh, the first of which was the season of text and data mining, and that was led by Mia Ridge. And an example of a related project um, is our work with Transcribus. Now, many of you will be familiar with Transcribus. It's a, a handwritten text recognition software designed to improve um, by training algorithms to understand handwritten text by comparing images to digitized pages with ground truth transcription of those pages. And following the pilots with records from the East India office, and just to give you some context for that one collection alone, we have nine miles of holdings. Uh, so we see handwritten text recognition as a huge opportunity to improve uh, resource discovery uh, uh, for our archival manuscript materials. Um, the British Library signed uh, an MOU with the Reed Project in 2017 and uh, this year became a founding member of the newly established Reed Cooperative um, over the summer um, a European cooperative society with limited liability will serve as the basis for sustaining and further developing the transcribers platform and related services and tools. And we think handwritten text recognition will be as transformative for handwritten documents as OCR was for printed uh, materials. And then Season of Place, which was uh, led by Addy. And... Um, an example of, um, or a, a detailed overview of the work done for this season will soon be available in a co-authored article in the Journal of Map and Geography Libraries, a special issue on information literacy instruction. Um, and as we heard about earlier, a related project we've been involved with um, supporting uh, was a two-day hack event to produce a JavaScript web map with time sl slider component, the Web Maps T uh, initiative. Uh, the main aim is to enhance the ability to visualize linked open data on web maps. And the outcomes will be a mixture uh, of deliverables, a GitHub repository containing uh, 
a minimum viable product, web maps with time slides, uh, timeline visualizations, and a white paper which will uh, summarize all of the work done to date. And then uh, our third season last year was a season of emerging formats, and that was led by Stellar Wisdom. The nature of storytelling publishing is changing through the possibilities offered by digital technologies and the definition of a digital story, which includes dynamic publications uh, created for mobile devices and the internet. In the United Kingdom, legal deposit libraries have the right to collect material published digitally, such as websites, blogs, e-books and e-journals. However, what happens when an e-book or an app behaves in an unexpected way and needs to turn to external sources of information to explain the story. What tools and methods do libraries need to store these ebooks and apps? What challenges are posed by software and hardware? How is the relationship between creators, libraries, technology companies, and user communi communities changing? What do researchers <coughs> need to access emerging formats in the library? So working with colleagues across the library over last year, the programme of activity enabled us to start to develop uh, ways of working with, around these issues and will feed into our plans uh, for the coming year and longer. If you're interested to find out more about the range of activities we're involved in, please see the case studies on our web pages. Uh, here you'll find... Uh, uh, a mixture of collaborative PhD uh, students uh, right through to some of the larger research initiatives. And in regards to research collaboration, we had James here uh, this morning, um, and this is really just a, a bit of a call to action. So we have a good experience working with external research partners uh, to attract joint funding from research councils and trusts. We welcome uh, to hear proposals that promise to produce research that leads to mutually beneficial outcomes. And um, if you'd like to know more about uh, what we're up to, then please get in touch or follow uh, deferments via the channels uh, you see up here on screen. So thank you.